Hello and welcome. Today we're going to make one of our family favourites, which is healthy oat biscuits with dried fruit. And to do this, we have 300 grams of ordinary oats, 130 grams of plain flour, approximately 100 grams of dried fruit, but you can use whatever fruit you like. Ours is, is dried fruit. And we will also need margarine, sugar, milk, eggs, bicarbonate of soda, some lemon juice, and a pinch of salt. But first we'll do the dried stuff, which is the oats, the flour, and the dried fruit. And we'll mix them together in this bowl here. So we'll just start moving there. Just mix those in together. Right, and then we'll add the dried fruit. And the big thing with this is to make sure, or do the best you can to make sure the fruit is nicely distributed evenly amongst the other ingredients. There we are, that's all mixed up there. So now we'll start with the wet ingredients and we need to have warm margarine to start the process. We've melted the margarine and we've let it cool down a little bit. And now we will add the sugar. And mix it up. Then we'll add the two eggs. And now we're going to put in the bicarbonate of soda. But what we'll do is we will add a couple of sprinkles of lemon juice and you can see it frizzing up quite nicely. And we need to mix it together. There we are. And now we can add this to the wet mix as well. And we'll mix this all together. And now we need to add the wet mix to the dry mix in the bowl there. So we'll just bring the bowl across. Let's move the lemon juice out of the way. it all together. And now keep stirring it, keep mixing it, make sure it mixes very, very well. And now good. maybe we'll use the other spoon, I think. This one's better. There we are, it's coming together quite nicely now. Just yeah, still some bits of flour there. And now the last thing is we'll add 
the milk to the mix. There's two tablespoonfuls of milk here. There we are. Let's mix that in. Okay. Just make sure you mix everything well here. Make sure the oats have combined with all the other ingredients. Now, when you've got to that far, just level it off and we need to cover it with cling film. And leave to stand at room temperature for a minimum of three hours, longer if you can. The longer the better. That makes sure that the oats begin to get fluffier because they're soaking in all the other ingredients and the end result will be rather nice. Hello again. Right, I've, I must confess I was a bit busy today so this has been actually maturing for about 10 hours now. But uh, what we need to do is mix it up there. We need a bowl of cold water because this is so sticky and we'll put, I'm using an ice cream scoop, but you can use an ordinary spoon, that's your choice. I've just put it in the water there and I'll take some of the mixture and put it in my hand. Now, what we need to do is to roll it roughly the size of a walnut and this looks not too bad, so I'll put it down there. And I'll just do another one. There we go. Yeah. Try to keep more the same size if you can. Just go a little dunk in the water. And so it's quite sticky with this. And here we go. And now, so now what we'll do is we'll start to squash them a little bit now. Now try to keep it so that they're about a centimetre thick if you can. See, I'm just pushing it here. And if you keep the size roughly that, it should cook not too badly. Let's flatten this one. Get some water here, so it's very, very sticky. There we are. Try not to put them too close together if you can help it. Right, and then we'll just squash this one. There we are. All roughly the same size. And we'll carry on and do the rest. Okay. Now, I'm trying to get all these the same size, but if they're not, when I've got them on the tray, I'll just make them all the same. Right, I've finished now, and please remember not to put them too close together, because uh, they will rise in the oven, and uh, if you've got them too close together, they'll all get stuck. Now, I've got the oven on 180 degrees, I've got it preheating, it's going to take 15 to 20 minutes, depending on your oven. So they're going to go in the oven right now. Okay, now they've had 18 minutes in the oven. And we'll just move a couple. Oh yes, look, nicely baked. So let's close the oven. I've got, oh sorry, I've been using my fan, electric fan oven, 180 degrees, I say 18 minutes, they're all done, they're quite nice now. So what we'll do is, they're all rather hot, we'll just break one open and show you, there we are, look at that, beautiful. Right, so here we go, let's let them cool off. These are my healthy oat biscuits with dried fruit. 
please enjoy and thank you for watching